to episode 745 of Hard Factor. It is Monday, August 9th, 2021. Thank you for cheating on the news with us. I'm Will. We got Mark Pat Wes. Full house for today's show. We're talking a little Olympics, a little infrastructure bill. What else, fellas? What else we got going on? I got some local news talking about a man who wants to sell uh, meat to the good people of uh, a town in Massachusetts. And then um, a little Mars Mars talk. Uh, yes. We're talking about uh, Canada, weed, brownies, the military. We'll talk about it. I'm taking it to three other countries, too. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even going to tease it, but it's good. Hey, for real quick, fantastic. Out, fantastic. Uh, hardcore member of the Hard Hive, Dooley. Congratulations on being a father. Yes. Yeah. Buddy. Congrats, so, Dooley. Baby girl. Mm-hmm. Emmy, and, right? Oh, wait, we yeah. should not say her name. Oh, I, I don't know. No one knows her name. But <laughs> okay. uh, Dooley uh, jumped <laughs> in the video chat, which is part of um, uh, it's a Patreon feature uh, in the Discord, mm-hmm. uh, as did Otis and Fender and uh, you know, Colin from California, some other cats too. So, um, heard Colin was doing shoeies in there. That guy drinks Send a lot it, of bro. Shoe. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> if, if you want to chat with us on video chat sometimes <laughs> late night, you can. Uh, you just got to sign up for the Patreon. Yeah. Pat was in there two nights in a row. Night Owl. Yeah. Night Owl. Yeah, night chat. Yeah, that night chat it. with Pat. <laughs> I'm a rhythm. Night chat I, with Pat. <laughs> yeah. I ate the first <laughs> bar of shrooms and then the second. How were they? And everyone went to bed and I ate the rest Wait, of them. Wait, a bar of shrooms? What is how, how I guess, like a bar? chocolate. Oh, okay. It's uh, like a big thing. Nice. I ended up the eating su- the like second round seven. Well. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, that's fun. Shrooms are awesome. I realize nice. I have a high shroom tolerance. Yeah, well, <laughs> that surprises me. Depends you, on you depends like when you what, smoke weed, you get you get all fucked up. It depends <laughs> on what kind and how strong they are, you know. Like, so you just you never know. So d- they just came downstairs to you, just like surrounded in chocolate bar wrappings. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, did, did them they all. work? Did they? Work? Yeah, they worked. <laughs> you ever scroll your phone on these rooms? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of trails, a lot of light oh, trails. There. Come on, yeah. every letter is an adventure. Uh, Remember, download the Green Room app by Spotify. Um, we didn't post this last week's uh, What the Fuck Wednesday because we don't read the instructions on how to download it and we met, missed the window. But don't worry. We're going to keep posting them. But we're, we're there live 5 p.m. Eastern every Wednesday. Get weird with us. Bring your what, what are we talking this week? What's the topic? Masturbation stories? I think yes. masturbation stories. Whoa. Okay. It's going to get spicy. Pat, you going to be there for that one? You Short gonna... stories. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'll be there. Yeah. I might be in the audience. Might be a fly on the wall for that one. <laughs> masturbation stories. It's going to get weird. Bring Come bring on. We could do one. we could do several shows worth of masturbation stories. Come on. Craziest, oh, craziest one gets a shirt. 5 p.m. Eastern Wednesday afternoon. All right. Uh, anything else, boys? Any other news? Any other housekeeping? Oh, Wes Borland does not. He didn't have a heart attack from what from Limp Bizkit, but they did cancel the show. But yes. rumors going around, he had a heart attack. Didn't have a heart attack, so mm. big news. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was it because of the Was it because of the Woodstock documentary? No, no, I don't know. But they're getting some heat for that. All but, right. No. Yeah. All right. Thank God. All right. You guys smell that? I a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. That's right. Holidays, history trending news it's the cup of coffee in the big time up first is holidays for august 9th it is international co-working day international day of world's indigenous people uh national book lovers day national hand holding day national polka day national rice pudding day veep day and victory day so <laughs> you guys big hand holders you guys you guys hand holders like no, in like the like public really. walking around I mean, it's nice, but not, the hands get sweaty so fast. Not yeah. really. Yeah. Not really. Uh, here you go, Pat. I'm holding <laughs> Pat's hand through the video. Um, no, I'm not a big hand holder. Look, Polka Day. It's bad when Polka Day is probably the most notable day. Um, get in, yeah. It's uh, they got get it on this, Wes. Oh, we were doing all together. Hold um, hand, Wes. YouTube.com slash Hard Factor News to see us all holding hands through the screen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there's nothing. With Victory Day's only in Rhode Island. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, it's not V Day, is it? No, it's this is nothing. August V D Day. 
August 9th has got nothing. Uh, yeah. All right. August August 9th in history actually has. Oh, wait. But speaking of holidays, Mark, it was cat day over the weekend. So congrats international cat day over the weekend. Yeah. Yes. Congrats I mean, but that's that's a little like less myself every day. Yeah. Right. Those cats, they're all indoor cats. Boy, do they get spoiled over here. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. Every day is their day. Mark's living cat day. 24, yeah. 7, 365. Um, all right. Uh, August 9th in history, actually a lot better than the holidays. So in 48 BC, uh, Julius Caesar's army defeated General Pompey in the Roman Civil War. So big time stuff happened. And how do uh, they know that before the year zero? And then in 1173, they started building the Leaning Tower of Pisa in the Holy Roman Roman Empire. So think about that. That's a long time. A lot of stuff going down. in Italy. Was it just the those. Tower of Pisa then? Yeah, I, I think like a, so. They, they did a hunchback it design it? I think they tried to put it straight, and eventually it just looks like it does now. I, I think. I don't it know. It was one of those guys who had one leg is longer than the other designed yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was like, that looks perfect. It's Bad perfect. <laughs> yeah. And a real right? cock eye. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> in 1814, Andrew Jackson defeated the Creek Indians in a battle to take over like lots of Alabama and Georgia. Um, in the United States in 1854, Henry David Thoreau's Walden was published. Really good book. In 1945, the second atomic bomb was dropped on Nagasaki. Told you. So that's a follow up. Mm. From told Hiroshima told Day. you Monday we'd have one. Yeah, mm. yeah, you were right. <laughs> Big bomb on Monday. Uh, in 1969, Sharon Tate was killed by uh, Charles Manson's cult. So lots of crazy shit on uh, August 9th in history. And um, in 1974, Gerald Ford was sworn in to replace Richard Nixon, who resigned as president of the United States the day before. And finally, in 1988, Wayne Gretzky was traded to the L.A. Kings from the Oilers, shocking his home country of Canada. Ooh. So bad trade. <sighs> yeah. Well, for the, for the Oilers. Right. I just, yeah, they broke I just remembered a pretty good match. Remembered a pretty good masturbation story for this Wednesday. Write it down, Mark. Yeah. On a piece of paper. And, yeah. And then jizz into that paper. <laughs> That's right. The trash can. That's what's going to happen. I've got two really good ones. Maybe, <laughs> maybe three. Is, is, is Wayne Gretzky... People say, obviously, Tom Brady's the greatest of all time, but Wayne Gretzky's really the greatest of all time, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, Ovechkin signed a five-year deal just to hoping he can beat the just the goal record. Because he's not going to beat like overall points, I don't think it's possible. But Gretzky was scoring like amount of points that are just like unheard of today. So yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he's like he was good. He's a good player. He's the goat. He's the goat yeah. in hockey. Yeah, for sure. His daughter's a little too. Maybe of sports. Of all sports. Yeah, of all sports, it's tough. No it's tough. man, because hockey. I mean, obviously, too, hockey's too niche. Hockey's too niche of a sport to be the goat of all sports at that sport. I think you'd have to be like something like much more worldly, right? Like I don't know. Hockey has to be like a triathlete football. or something, right? Something yeah, like, like a that. boxer, a runner, a soccer player, or like. I, don't I think know. hockey's pretty world. Most of, basketball, except for South America. Most impressive, uh, most impressive Olympic yeah. Olympic performance was that diver West covered the fourteen year old Chinese girl. Oh yeah, she was. Yeah. She was by far the most dominant she was in her dominant. field. Yeah. All right. Well, speaking of that, let's move into the trending news because the Olympics. Uh, spoiler alert! <laughs> number one, <laughs> you wouldn't have guessed it. But they ended. So, uh, honorable mentions. UFC 265 happened over the weekend, Saturday night. Mark, do you know what happened? Um, no, I didn't follow up. this one. No. Okay. Cyr Sorry. Cyril Gain uh, ended Derek Lewis's uh, unbeaten streak. Jose Aldo so he got, got a surprise. So he gets the next title Chiesa, shot. Yeah. Chiesa dropped a surprise one. Yeah. But I honestly have like stopped watching UFC since the ESPN Plus thing. So. Yeah, the ESPN Plus thing is awful. That Cyril Gain guy is interesting because I think he like just started MMA like two years ago, and he's like, yeah, he's only like nine and zero. He's yeah, but he came out of nowhere and he just like is like shows a lot of maturity for a fighter, and he's getting the next title shot. He's good. He's very yeah. fit, very fit, very fit for a heavyweight. Uh, I, Matt, what's up, Wes? I, I was just gonna say I hope that I hope they figure out their governance coin UFC soon, so we can figure out how to like vote oh on stuff. shit pat uh crypto we're also talking let's keep moving along mm. messi messi had his last game with barcelona on sunday ben shapiro debated malcolm nance on the bill maher show a saturday night it trended because like all things political both sides that sounds victory. amazing right uh <laughs> i watched it <laughs> oh was it fun was shapiro it really ended fun? his argument with i will sleep very well tonight on my bed made of money malcolm damn oh, okay 
Well, I mean, I guess he's so. I guess Malcolm asked him how he how he how he sleeps at night. I guess <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, both sides said they won for sure. So it just cool. depends who you ask. Um. Uh. And uh, watch Suicide Squad if you haven't already on HBO Max. James Gunn is a master of directing WWE stars. Cena is hilarious. In it, so. Um, yeah, it's great. It's awesome. Glad to James, see Gunn James, recovered from the tweet controversy. I was going to say, yeah, he's uh, the weird, the, the the kid guy, right? Yes. Yeah, he's, he's, the weird. He's, he's kid no weird worse than you, tweet. Wes. He's no worse well, than you. Def definitely no worse than you. No. no, no. <laughs> Nor you. <laughs> Who's going to get canceled first? <laughs> Put your money on it. I hey, let's, I mean, again, we, <laughs> I don't it, would know. Be, it would be great for us. <laughs> That'd be good buzz if somebody gets canceled. So hopefully. That's true. James Gunn. Hopefully one of us turns into James Gunn. That'd be amazing. Uh, number four, the RIP in Peace Corner. Um, four people trended with their passing over the weekend. So um, rest in peace to Bobby Bowden, of course, the legendary FSU coach. He died at 91. Dennis Thomas of Cool and the Gang. He died at mm. 70. You guys, check out his picture. He's a badass. He was wearing like he's a singer saxophone player. That's like a rare combo. In his tough, pictures, really tough badass. weekend for the gang. Yes, very tough. Uh, also, Marky Post, the actress, died at 70. She's uh, famous from Night Court. And, of course, Trevor yes. Moore um, from The Whitest Kids You Know died, sadly, at the age of 41. Really sad to see him go so soon. He has a son that he's leaving behind. So. Personal <laughs> personal inspiration for this group, for sure. Yeah, like, for sure. Yeah, bummer. We used to watch those sketches back in the day. Tough um, weekends. Yeah, for deaths. That was, that's four big, yeah. big ones. Big trenders. Uh, big, big personalities. R.I.P. Uh, number three, hashtag Obama variant. Uh, so in the least shocking uh, trend I've seen in a while, Obama's birthday party was like in maskless pictures from the birthday party of the former president trended because it was still a giant party after he said he'd tone it down because of covid. I don't know. I'm sure you guys saw the pics. They were all over the place. Here's Obama dancing maskless. And there's like a bunch of people. And there's a giant tent at Martha's Vineyard at his giant mansion. And he was like, oh, it's only going to be close family and friends. It was a huge event. They're partying. They're having fun for his 60th birthday. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know why people are surprised. Obama's whole presidency was say one thing, do another. And also, like, I'm with Obama anyways. I'm sick of masks. So they suck. So 60 is a big birthday, man. Don't really I mean, see the big deal. Yeah. I mean, let him have a birthday party. I don't see. The yeah, big I mean, deal I guess either. people are mad he lied about it, but like Obama's lied to you a billion times. Like what? <laughs> what do you what, what the fuck do you care about this one for? I don't know. Anyways, uh, number two, infrastructure bill. A couple uh, low one, blows on Obama there. What am I supposed to do? I was supposed to say he was like the best president of all time. He never told a lie. It's better than the last every, two. Well, you, every president told, told, tells yeah. a lie. It was better okay. than the last two presidents. I'd rather well, him sure. than, than but Trump. That, but still, I, pretty I good think president. That great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm personally, personal opinion. Personal matter yeah, personal of matter opinion. of difference in taste. There you go. There you go. What? Okay. My not, what? All right. You can say it, it, but I'm no. just going to def defend him over the last two presidents. Want to hang out with Obama? I agree. Bad. He's better yeah. than the last yeah. two presidents, but like yeah. in the in the in the grand scheme, it's been shit for the last four. I'd say oh. pretty much. Mm -hmm. all, personally. So what do you want me to say? What are you Just trying? Like what are you lying, trying to get? I'll shit the bed. You know? Not trying to get at anything. What am I not allowed to say that I I uh, I kind of liked Obama? What's wrong? What's wrong with that? Yeah. What's wrong? Okay. Yeah. So so we disagree. Yeah. It's all fantastic. Good. No Moving on. Number two. What's happening in politics today? <laughs> the infrastructure bill. One trillion dollars for physical infrastructure is what they're working on in the Senate. Uh, both parties are still trying to negotiate amendments that would change the infrastructure bills. Cryptocurrency, Pat, pay attention, regulations uh, and whether or not to allow coronavirus aid money to be spent on infrastructure. Uh, but there was no final deal as a time of taping on Sunday. Um, so a form of this is going to get through the Senate by some point, probably by Wednesday. So here's the three things you should pay attention to. Crypto language in particular in the infrastructure uh, bill. Heavy IRS oversight and tax reporting responsibilities are being implemented at a minimum for all crypto exchanges and potentially for everybody involved in uh, crypto development at all, uh, depending on the final language adopted in the bill. And on top of that, the richest guy in Congress, Democratic Senator Mark Warner from Virginia, uh, is proposing to make proof of stake systems like Cardano more heavy, heavily regulated than traditional proof of work systems like Bitcoin because he's a fucking dickhead uh, taking it to the. This internet. is not good. 
No, Not it's horrible. Uh, taking it to the internet, Brian Armstrong tweets, there are a few key moments that define our future. One is happening now in the Senate with the infrastructure bill at the 11th hour at Mark Warner has proposed an amendment that would decide which uh, foundational technologies are okay and which are not in crypto. This is disastrous. Elon Musk replies to that and says, agreed. This is not the time. This is not the time to pick technology winners or losers in cryptocurrency technology. There is no crisis that compels hasty legislation. I so agree 100 percent. Why? Like, this is not a pressing issue. We got a global pandemic going on. Can we can we can we leave crypto to, alone to the Democrats in control? It is Mark. The bill plans to haul at least twenty eight billion dollars in taxing crypto harder. Um, so, yes. Yeah. Like, I don't, it sucks because I, I'm i not using crypto as a tax shelter. Like, I'm happy to pay whatever taxes I need to pay on any profits from crypto. It just, it's just going to slow the industry down at a time oh, where you time. don't need it to be slowed down. Overregulation just going to destroy the industry. Well, that's going to hurt it for sure. Uh, we'll see what the final Senate version says later this week, but something is going to happen and that something is going to be taxes coming. Uh, infrastructure bill is also supposed to uh, have wildfire prevention for the Western states funding for that. There was a lot of wildfire prevention money going into the negotiations to start the bill, uh, but it's hard to tell like crypto what the final tally is going to be when it's all said and done. We get the final Senate version, hopefully by the latest Wednesday again. Uh, shout out to Hard Ohio firefighter in Colorado, Ethan Payne. He's fighting the wildfires. He said that the biggest way people can help the wild firefighters is driving tobacco products out to the front lines uh, for the guys who are fighting the fires when they run out of cigs and uh, dip. Um, and and just these... know that they're going to field strip their cigarettes because they're not assholes. They're going to smoke those cigarettes, then field oh, it's strip going in them. A pocket. Yeah. Make sure that they go in their pockets. So they're, they're putting out the fires, not starting them. Uh, yeah. Correct. Yeah, he, al he also said uh, that we could help people. Uh, we could help by letting people know that firefighters in general just don't get paid very much and are overworked during the fire season. Because uh, I also read that federal and state regulators need to come together to make it easier and more lucrative for people to properly manage the forest. You know, the vast forest system, apparently it's too cost prohibitive to um, do any type of management. So get it done uh, in D.C. Get Ethan, the boys paid already. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's but, why it, you should invest in firefighter coin. It's a new cryptocurrency that helps the boys get tobacco on the front line. Mm -hmm. Is that that would be is awesome? That, is that what we're starting this week? So you're saying? Yep, thinking about fire. Now fire we got, now we got to start it. Coin? Yeah. Wild, Wild fire coin. coin. Uh, How much time is that going to take? <laughs> Anyone know a good developer? Yeah. We're, it's literally everything this bill might just not really do much for. So I mean, we'll we'll see what we'll see what happens on both of those crypto penalties and also what the wildfire gets for funding and stuff. Uh, but finally, on uh, on the infrastructure bill, after this passes, the bulk of Biden's proposed agenda is said to be included in the separate budget reconciliation package that will bypass the filibuster, according to uh, Speaker Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. Uh, so that'll push spending levels for federal programs up an additional three point five trillion on top of this one trillion dollar uh, infrastructure deal and the multiple trillions in COVID relief packages we've seen over the last two years, which means uh, brace yourself. Taxes are coming, especially if you work in crypto. So that's basically what's happening on Capitol Hill. Leave crypto alone. Well, that's not it's again, that's not going to happen. Um, at a minimum, it will be more heavily taxed after this is done. we missed. We missed the boat. We didn't get rich. Fuck. We missed the boat about 10 times. Yeah, we missed it. <laughs> <laughs> we got into crypto right when the government didn't got get into that pen stock. No. <laughs> Bitcoin at the peak. <laughs> oh, we're so, we're so uh, stupid. Uh, uh, All right, we're number so one. Stupid. Number one, good news: the Olympics. Uh, if we could still play music on the pod, we'd have a "We Are the Champions" music bed right now because the USA is once again the champions of the uh, Summer Olympics with 39 golds to China's 38. <laughs> nice try, China. <laughs> 113 total to China's 88, and China's, of course, second place. Um, that final total of 113 medals by the U.S. is by far the most of any nation, but uh, pretty bad, actually, in comparison to Rio de Janeiro five years ago, where you consider we had 121 total medals, 46 of them gold, so a lot more golds, and 30 fewer events that we competed in. It um, was never in doubt, baby. It, Woo! It was very much in doubt. Uh, we also didn't get a men's gold in track for the first time ever um, as a nation. So it, so we did win. USA, go USA. But 
it, like we're not our, our, our Olympic program is not the, the peak of where it's got to hit that track harder next time. Yeah. Uh, the final teams to pull through for the USA were indeed the big boys in the shot put and men's basketball like we hoped last week. But also on Sunday, the last day, the women's basketball team, uh, cyclists and the volleyball programs, all women's uh, came through with the last three golds on Sunday to take Hell USA yeah. from 36 to 39, one past China. Um, and finally, on the men's basketball front, uh, Kevin Durant became a three-time gold medalist and also led the USA Olympic team in scoring all three times. Um, and it created this amazing video after they won the gold. Somebody who said we were going to take the L. They had, a, they had some power rankings on. Ken Kendrick Perkins, you talk a lot of shit. <laughs> we a lot of shit. They had some, Act like you American. <laughs> they had some power rankings out there. Yeah, those four behind Slovenia. Like, like this not our game. Come on, man. Oh, Talking oh. about they catching up to us. Like, are you serious? This skill is unmatched. You dig? Shout out to everybody that won this gold. Everybody that chipped in and helped out. We wanted the press conference, but I had to talk my shit real quick. <laughs> He's the fucking best. Kendrick Perkins. He, uh. he, he's the man. I finally got to order a KD jersey, too, for a team I root for, USA go usa there you go congrats usa good job coming from behind we got Dude, the also like account good job usa usa women uh i watched that game i put i, I bet japan Where women's they crushed japan. plus 17 and a half and us to win and it worked out perfect oh wow yeah you the, hit both those japanese women cannot get a shot off from the inside they just can't the us well, they're like, probably like they, half they were, the height right they, they got like two layups off that both missed the whole. I heard. Time. I heard it looked like a varsity team versus a freshman team. Yeah, basically. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Just shooting threes wildly every time they have the ball. Nice. Yeah. Well, go USA. Uh, go USA. That's today's cup of coffee in the big time, which was brought to you today by our new and incredible sponsor, Full Bore Barbecue. Uh, these guys mm -hmm. reached out to us directly to market to the Hard O Hive. Uh, they know we've got some big barbecue lovers in the Hive because why? They're a part of it. That's right listeners and barbecue purveyors full board barbecue is proof the american dream is still alive when you have a superior product mixed with unstoppable work ethic uh what started as a group of high school friends trying their hardest at a local uh, barbecue competition has turned into a company that is trusted everywhere and is known to make you the star of your backyard uh, the sauce and rub combinations are classic barbecue flavors with that extra something that puts it over the top and they have a wall of trophies and hardware to prove it over thirty thousand units sold and enjoyed nationwide in this past year and that's all just because it tastes so damn good uh it's the best rubs and sauces you will ever allow to tickle your taste buds the spicy sauce from full bore barbecue knocked my socks clean off have you guys tried some of these things just I had yet. a bunch of them this weekend i did barbecue mm -hmm. chicken and then i made new york uh strips i used the dry this dry steak oh. rub from new york strips obviously it was fucking fantastic i used their i didn't try their spicy sauce yet. i used their kansas city sauce and their regular barbecue sauce both delicious Oh, I put some of that river river rub on um, some shrimp, um, and it was fantastic. Oh. Everything. Yeah, they Everything. Oh. Boom. Oh, that's Thank the team right there. For sending us to us. Nice. Yeah. Award-winning sa sauces and rubs. Uh, and the best of all, uh, this is one small business trying to support each other. Full Bore Barbecue is the barbecue sauce of the Hardo Hive. Uh, yeah. They are listeners. Full Bore Barbecue Sauce can be found at almost 300 retail stores, but if you don't have one that sells in your local area, they can ship direct to your door. Check out FullBoreBBQProducts.com uh, for recipes and to get your hands on some barbecue supplies of your own. Follow them on Instagram at FullBoreBBQProducts for fan features and at FullBoreBBQ to see more of their work. We are offering Hard Factor listeners 10% off your entire order using promo code FACTOR. So stop forcing down that sweet baby raise and support a fellow Hard Factor listener Hell by yeah. visiting fullborebbqproducts.com. That's full bore like a, like a pig, you know, bore, B-O-A-R, uh, bbqproducts.com to order yours today and let's BBQ everything. Let me tell you something. When you get that full bore package at your front door, it moves. It's it nice. moves once you get your hands on the full board package. You know, you know the rubs are in there. You know the sauces are in there. It's, it's an exciting time. And it tastes uh, to get that it, package. It tastes like it's it's so much better than any barbecue sauce you, like mass produced that you can find. give it a shot. Ten percent off. It's, it's really dare you. Good. Yeah. Send us your pictures enjoying a fat boy summer with some full bore. Mm -hmm. um, 
All right, guys, got a local news story for you. Uh, guys, police in Westfield, Massachusetts uh, need your help. But honestly, I don't think you should give it to them on this one. Normally, we're big proponents of helping the men and, and, and women in blue on this show. But on this one, I got to advise uh, residents to turn the other cheek because the man they are after is basically like Santa Claus, a fat boy summer, spreading the joy and the gift of cheap meat to residents in that area. And frankly, I wish he would just stop by my house sometime in his, in his van slash meat sleigh. So here's the post <laughs> from uh, the Westfield Detective Bureau, which says... The department has been made aware that an individual in a white van with a USA flag on the side has been in various neighborhoods knocking on random people's doors trying uh, to sell discounted meat. He is not registered with the city or this department to do so. And if you see him uh, in your neighborhood, please call a number I'm not going to read uh, because I don't want him to be caught. Um, so <laughs> where's he getting the meat from? I thought it said discontinued meat at first. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I got I to gotta pull a video. So, so what's happening is police are looking for this guy in van. Um, and uh, here's a video of him stopping by. And this is just this is just tragedy. What he's trying to do here. Just watch what he's trying to do. It's just, it's just crazy. How you doing, man? Good question. Sorry to bother you. I just finished up my, my deliveries for the day in Westfield. I got some extra orders. You want any steak sack price? Um, I got like fillets, strips, like four or five bucks a cut. Yeah, Whoa. All right. Have oh, a good night. Man. Whoa. Oh, what? The horror. The horror. You're turning you know? that down? I'm, four I'm, or five I'm bucks asking him. A cut. I, I'm, I'm saying, hey, bring it here. All right, so, I'm so, saying I I got a lifetime supply of full bore barbecue sauce and rubs. Right, you gotta you send gotta them card. over. Right. One of two things is happening, right? And mm -hmm. one I don't care about, which is the meat is stolen and yeah. and it's good. Uh, <laughs> two, the meat is not good. Right, that's that would you be. You could look at it though. You could look at it. You gotta you gotta call anytime you're buying meat off the street. You gotta call the guy over and say, "Hey, I want to inspect." Let me the meat smell first. it. Let me Let smell me it. That. Caught one yeah. open. Let me smell yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, what fucking vegan told on this guy is what I want to know. Five dollars. Smells days. like <laughs> genitalia. Yeah. Um, yeah. I need a guy. I'd rather. I'd rather, I'd rather have a guy that sells me five dollar quality strips than like a guy that sells me like a solid eighth for forty five bucks. If I'm being honest. No like, kidding. E even yeah. in the smoking days. Lifetime. You're gonna save more money. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you got so a meat got guy. You got a discounted meat guy. You're you're on easy street. He comes you to are. your house. <laughs> <laughs> you know how like the kind of like cool power that yields. Like, yo, I got I got don't I got a meat guy. Don't worry about it. I'll get you. you know, yeah. Nice. It's like a guy. It's like, it's like someone that, you know, like has like venison. You know, it's like I got a venison. Well, guy. Well, also, yeah. the oh, yeah. best good cuts don't guy. go to the grocery nice. store. They don't. So like like if you want a good cut of meat, you know, that's you know, the better cuts go to the restaurants unless you have a butcher shop in your area, which most people don't. Like yeah, this, this guy's clearly guy. ripping off a restaurant, right? Well, here's a picture. What the, the, the here's a picture of some of the meat that people, the smart people that actually did buy from this guy, these yeah. geniuses. So it looks like just a uh, like a wholesale meat company, but I don't know if he's licensed to. It says like United States Beef Wholesale. It's got a fucking eight 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 number eight 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 three four six eight 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 nine. That you packaging it leaves yeah. some desirability there's really bad not, packaging not the greatest packaging the logo yeah. is that's how they keep the prices low mark though that's yeah, how they keep yeah. the prices low. The logo is three triangles <laughs> terrible like, design yeah. Yeah, it looks together three, yeah. that's, it a it's, it's, that's, that's a boar that's a that's that's a bull head will no it's, uh, it's, it's okay. yes no, that's a bull head that's a, no, it's not it's a cow it's head a, it's a steer I'd be willing to bet if I went on the U.S. trademark and patent website and searched, which because they have the little TM next mm. to their three triangle logo, my guess is oh, yeah. that's not a registered trademark. No, uh, well, definitely You wouldn't not. need to trademark that bullhead. No. no, no one's stealing it. Yeah. So, I mean, the fucking government, the problem is the fucking government wants their hands in all the all things food these days. You know, this is the bigger picture it's here. It's like the so. crypto market, man. Yeah. You F those FDA enough. motherfuckers. Yeah. FDA approved my ass, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, <laughs> So this means it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know, even even the detective bureau post on the on the uh, Facebook goes on to say, quote, by all accounts, it appears as though this guy is is uh, he's literally selling discounted meat and there does not appear to be anything nefarious going on this time. I think the cops just want to know where he is so they can fucking take advantage of it. Um, and then here are some pics uh, people took to Facebook, of course, uh, to, uh, you know, talk about this guy, Craig Reed. Um, says selling discounted meat is nefarious. I worked for meat processors for a decade, and one of the issues was our drivers pulling off a case or two of meat from various pallets, then yep. selling them for cash door to door. It's like the it's like the Irishman. Uh, the, yeah. 
door to door uh, and flea markets and reporting if the company, if we had shorted the pallets, very possible this person is guilty of larceny to which uh, William Keyes says he's legit. I know him. You're all just dump jumping to conclusions as normal. And then uh, he's well, legit. Uh, I know him. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then Kim says uh, Kim tries to uh, tag Westerfield Detective Bureau by just mentioning them. And then uh, I say, shut up, Kim. Um, at the, <laughs> at the <bottom> there. <laughs> you got it there. Yeah, I got you got it there. there. Shut, up, sh- shut up, Kim. Shut you know, up. Kim is also a luddite when it comes to tagging Westfield Detective Bureau. No, she she wrote it. She didn't she just have writes it. Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, that's William that's Keys tag. doesn't know that guy personally. He just likes. He just likes the meat. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, so would you uh, be if, upset if you were getting this busted up? Oh yeah. Yeah, of course. This is like this is like the guys busting up the uh, the the hot mom at the high school, like the yeah. the, the, the only Mrs. fans. Poindexter. Like, yeah, Mrs. Poindexter. This is right this along is, the same. Yeah, lines. or like the chick that was the Florida woman that was <laughs> Taco Bell in a plane last yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. This fuck? is this is an arbitrage scenario. If you're getting five dollar yeah. cuts, right? Yeah. Just let it just let it happen. Yeah. Sometimes how is it arbitrage victimless. for your stomach? <laughs> yeah, it's stomach arbitrage, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So many goddamn complainers out there ruining the fun for everyone. So right. us, if you if you buy meat from this guy, let us know. Yeah, I want to yeah. see a picture of it. Like, what's his cut? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Does he, he shit? Sick. Yeah, does he shit? All right. I don't know. I'm gonna call okay. it later. You guys want to do a little TikTok international moment? Um, so it turns out hyenas are psychopaths. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, these these creepy looking things right here that uh Disney depicted as lunatics in Disney's The Lion King. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Disney nailed it because a massive bone graveyard was found in the Um Jersan lava tube, which is a cave system in Saudi Arabia. In that cave, archaeologists found hundreds of thousands of bones from 14 different types of animals, including humans, that they believe striped hyenas collected over the past 7,000 years. So that's Jesus terrifying. It's, that's it's, like the, it's like the lair from Lion King. Yes. Yeah. Did they know? Did the Lion King animators know something that they should have told us? Like, did yes. they know about the bone layer? No, they just knew that hyenas are psychos. And do, yes, yeah. they yeah, they knew they collected bones and they just they just guessed it correctly. Um, so, yeah, the sick fucks love eating and gnawing on bones, and they have been known to rob human graveyards to get dead people's bones. Like, that's how crazy <laughs> hyenas are. Researchers have been investigating the cave for about 15 years, but they had only ventured into the the depths of the cave where they found the millions of scratched up bones a few months ago. Uh, and uh, one archaeologist said, if it's not hyenas, we're fucked. Uh, <laughs> and then another, another, the head, the head archaeologist said, God, I hope it's just normal sized hyenas doing this. <laughs> That's a lot of bones. So, so yeah. they're just like, a lot of I mean, they've just been collecting them for decades, you know, for <laughs> centuries, millennial, yes. 7,000 years. 7,000 years. Over 7,000 years, they've collected about a million bones from 14 different animals, and they think it's the hyenas, but, you know, it could be anything. could be. <laughs> it, it could be, like, a, just a monster that we don't know yeah, about. Talk about tradition. Right? <laughs> yeah, 7,000 years. Terrifying. It's a long <laughs> time. I would never go in that cave. It's so haunted. Uh, all right. could be like Let's... that monster from Coneheads. Remember that, that they have to fight? Oh, yes. uh, in the end? Yeah. Could yeah be like 7,000 years, yeah. years is too long to say that it all belongs to one thing. Yeah, like, it's it's it very convenient yeah. to to pin it on hyenas that are about fifty pounds. You know, They're you, can, strang- you yeah. can strangle a hyena to death if it was attacking you. Probably, uh, mm-hmm. you don't want to. No, know man, they have the strongest jaws of any animal. I'm yeah, pretty they sure. do. Yeah. Do they? Yeah, yeah. they're biting. Well, they probably badass. could take them out while they take you out. They're small. Can't they like change sexes too? Like they're like men, like males can like they, they look have at something them. Weird about them. They look. They got a little bit of an alien look to them, right? Like look at that face. Yeah, they have something weird about them. Like that. Yeah. Their neck. Look at that neck. It's like it's fucked up. That vertebrate. Not normal. Um, okay. Disgusting animals. Yeah. They are. Let's head over to Spain. Uh, Snickers, the candy bar, ran an ad in Spain that is receiving some pretty harsh backlash. Oh, yes. And in fact, it was pulled from the air. Uh, the ad shows some <laughs> friends sitting down for lunch. And the one man appearing and sounding very feminine orders a sec the orange juice uh, to the shock of his table mate and the waiter. Uh, the waiter then hands the flamboyant man a Snickers. And after one bite, everyone turns to the beard, now bearded man with the, who has now has a deep voice and says, you better. And he goes better. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, do you have the video? Uh, yeah. I, it, can I play it for copyright reasons? I don't know. I think yeah, so. 
yeah. you should be able to. The, the 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 Olympics thing that happened last week, guys. Just you know, the NBC is psychopath this year on the Olympics. Okay. Stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah, Olympics I mean, and, and FIFA, like international sports, like usually have like really crazy copyright. Yeah, you should be play it. It's, it's 20 amazing. seconds. It's in Spanish, but here we go. con una rodaja de limón y un sexy zumo de naranja. Con vitaminas A, B y C. Abracitos, besitos, muat y caricias around the world. Anda, toma un helado sneakers. Mejor. Mejor. Snickers turned them straight again. It's conversion <laughs> therapy. <laughs> so, you know, Snickers you turn into that. a giant flaming gay guy when you're hungry. <laughs> Have a <Yes>. Snickers. <laughs> That's so fucking ridiculous. Literally the ad. Yes. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Snickers. <sighs> So, you know, oh, that, yeah, they do that. They've been doing that thing where you're not acting yourself when you're hungry. They've used like Danny DeVito, <laughs> Steve Buscemi, Liza Minnelli when someone's acting like a drama queen. Uh, but the tone of this one is some guy was acting super gay and that was wrong. So he needed his <laughs> Snickers to snap him out of his gay behavior. This came Written by the baby. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, right. This came at a bad time for Spain, who has recently had multiple violent attacks against gay citizens like 24 year old gay uh, man, Samuel Luis, who was allegedly beat to death a few weeks ago in a targeted attack against gays. And, and that's just a string of recent violence against gay people in Spain. So not good. Uh, and will in related news. The baby has announced a multi-date, multi-venue tour across Spain, <laughs> yeah. announcing on his Instagram, El Bebe is coming to Spain. <laughs> it's part of his comeback to our working title absolutely no gays allowed yeah <laughs> he made it makes sense he identified yeah. it as a hotbed for a yeah. potential he market needs to, he needs to go to iran is where he needs to go that's All true right. no he gays in iran least. no Dude, gays gonna, there man i'm gonna get that sound effect of the glass breaking so we can use it on the show <laughs> just so anytime baby. anyone says something ridiculous it's just if you, glass some of y'all suspect yeah <laughs> You got Some of y'all's gay in here. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta get the gunfire sound effect too. <laughs> what an atmosphere! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> who's got that clean pussy? Put them, put them ladders up. Get those ladders up, girl. <laughs> now who's gay? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Any y'all HIV motherfuckers out there? Get out! Well, yeah, crazy people at that fucking concert. Maybe they needed, they needed education, guys, not to be uh, ridiculed. He needs education. Yeah. Right. OK. Yeah. And now let's head over to Russia. <laughs> now let's head over to Russia, where a woman who has the exact same willpower when it comes to food as Wes is suing McDonald's. Mm. Uh, Ksenia Ovchin Ekova, an Orthodox Christian from Omsk, Omsk Russia. Is that how you pronounce Omsk? Omsk, Russia, Omsk, 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 Omsk Russia, sure. uh, was steering clear of meat during Lent in 2019, as she always does. But when she saw a McDonald's ad featuring a delicious cheeseburger and some tasty chicken nuggets, she could not resist and went straight to the nearest McDonald's and gorged on meat and meat like products. She said, when I saw an advertising banner, I could not help myself. I visited mm -hmm. McDonald's and bought a cheeseburger. Yeah. Well, yep. Case closed. It is a good it is a good looking good looking ad. But uh, she's suing McDonald's for insulting her religious feelings to the tune of 1,000 rubles, which is about $14. She's suing for $14? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Man, don't go into the legal field in Russia. It doesn't yeah, sound very yeah. lucrative. Not in Omsk. Um, and McDonald's responded saying, look, we're not going to give her the 14 bucks back, but this has <laughs> given us an idea to start a heaven and hell advertising campaign during Lent. And this woman is welcome to any of our McJesus burgers or devil <laughs> or devil or devil fries uh, every Friday during Lent for life free. I love when Mark gets the Photoshop out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Did you, know, you make that McJesus? I made this. Uh, El, El Bebe. 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 I did the El Bebe. No, this one was already online. Jesus with the Big Mac. Good. There it Looks is. good. It does. I'm getting. I'm like. I'm, I'm diet starts tomorrow. Literally, so I might get some McDonald's. You were saying you were writing that story, and that made you want to eat it. Yes. Thanks, McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I I'm ate like, it yesterday. I'm gonna sue them for a thousand rubles tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, let's take it to Canada real quick, guys. Oh, wait. Do we have something else going on? Do we have? Uh... Um, nope. Yes. Yeah, we think, do. Uh, Oh, an I ad? Think, I think 
I think we need to talk about a long time. One of our long greatest time. ads, one of our greatest sponsors of all time. Um, that TikTok international moment was brought to you by Paint Your Life. And I don't know if, if a few of you are unfortunate enough to know me intimately, but I'm a terrible gift giver. Luckily for my loved ones, I discovered <laughs> paintyourlife.com. Uh, getting someone a personalized painting is the absolute best gift you can possibly give someone when i heard that at paintyourlife.com i thought what a great idea but this has got to be so expensive no way i can afford it guess what i can and it's not uh so what you do is you get a professional hand-painted portrait created from any photo or or group of photos at a truly affordable price you can choose from a team of world-class artists and work with them until every detail is perfect it's user-friendly platform that lets you order a custom-made hand-painted portrait in less than five minutes and the whole process you'll get your painting shipped to you in about three weeks at your door so like i said send any picture of yourself your children family a special place a cherished pet combine photos into one painting it makes the perfect birthday anniversary wedding gift uh just a super thoughtful gift if you give someone a painting they will remember it for life it, it'll be hung in their house forever uh at paint your life i'm, I'm at paintyourlife.com there is no risk there sorry if you don't love the final painting your money's refunded guaranteed and right now as a, as a limited time offer get 20 percent off your painting that's right 20 percent off and get this free shipping of a painting to get this special offer text the word factor to 64,000. that's factor to 64,000. text factor to 64,000. paint your life celebrate the moments that matter most uh terms apply it's available at paintyourlife.com slash terms again text factor to 64,000. what a deal hell yeah all right put on your jackets boys because we're going up to canada um Shout out to Joey Cohn for this story, by the way. Uh, a court martial trial is underway for a Canadian soldier who's accused of feeding her unit weed laced cupcakes without their knowledge before a live fire training exercise. Oh, <laughs> I, at first I was like, nice. And then I realized that's dangerous. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Here yeah. she is, the lady. Uh, this is uh, a devilish grin on her, huh? Yep, yeah. She's yeah. Good looking soldier. Um, she looks like the girl, like like a uh, whiter version of the girl uh, who played the Grinch in the night before. You know, the one mm -hmm. that like fucks the superstar guy in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. The movie The no. Night Before with Seth Rogen. Oh, yes. Anthony Mackie. Yeah. The she Christmas looks like movie. The, the girl that plays the Grinch in that movie. OK. She looks a little untrustworthy, no? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. With yeah. that evil grin and everything. God does that, man. Yeah. He, he, there's, there's warnings all around. You just got to know nowhere to look. Several <laughs> soldiers have testified that Chelsea Cogswell was in charge of the canteen um, at the base in uh, Ormocto, New Brunswick. And on July 21st, 2018, she had a little surprise to the normal lunchtime fair. In the form of three cupcakes, uh, sorry, free cupcakes, uh, way, way more than three. Uh, but yeah, essentially the canteen, like you can roll by and like after you eat lunch, if you want to buy like a soda or something, uh, candy bar. But she had the cupcakes out and uh, soldiers were saying it's pretty normal. Sometimes the canteen folks will bring a homemade baked good to raise morale. So they thought no nothing of it. Uh, about 40 minutes later, some of the soldiers started feeling, quote, kind of loopy. Mm -hmm. That's according to medical corporal Patrick Heptich, who testified on Saturday. He said uh, he witnessed a soldier who'd been smoking only occasionally. This is this is cigarettes. And he started chain smoking almost immediately. Yeah, that's uh, a pretty good sign. You're fucked up. And he yeah. thought that's weird because he was uh, loving those cigarettes. He's like, that's my move. Not bad ass right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just light one cigarette with the other cigarette. Give me a whole pack. I feel mm. great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, another Start soldier. Smoke rings. Right. <laughs> another soldier was wandering around in front of his gun and rolling around in the grass. So he like crossed the firing line. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he no. was downrange of the fucking weapons rolling around in the grass. Oh, Unusual God. behavior for sure, yeah. Yeah, Ashley Diggs, a retired sergeant, said he had a uh, a dry mouth after eating a cupcake, and he attributed that to um, dehydration at first. Mm -hmm. But then when he kind of looked around and saw everyone was fucked up, he was like, uh-oh, man. Uh, bombardier Connor Cherbury um, says he started to feel, quote, spaced out. And at first, yeah, he also thought it was dehydration, but no amount of water helped, he said. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys just chugging water. 
You know she made him strong with that look on her face. Yeah, one yeah. guy's just chain smoking, the other guy's drinking everyone's water. One guy's rolling around in the grass. <laughs> like, oh, here's the problem: they focused yeah. on her attractiveness, not the signs that she's untrustworthy. There too, they they just were like, ah, right. It's a cute girl's cupcakes. It's like even yeah. more. They're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take two. Right. There's um, something off about her smile, but she's but, just cute enough that I'm going to ignore ignore it. Man, maybe if yep. I eat these cupcakes, she'll fuck me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Is this the test? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Ch- Connor Ch- Chubbery said uh, he be- then became incoherent and wandered around looking at trees. This is while he was on sentry gun duty and was unable to focus. So he's just walking away from his gun. And just looking at the trees, you got one guy rolling around down range. You got another guy chain smoking. <laughs> one guy, a good time, man. That's one like, guy was able to communicate do. with squirrels. Right. Yeah. Uh, the uh, several soldiers started to notice similar symptoms, and then they all came to the consensus that they were really, really high. Yeah. Yeah. Must have been a hilarious moment, though. They're like, oh shit, guys, you, <laughs> you're acting like an idiot. Are you dying? Second. <laughs> Why are everybody's eyes so red? <laughs> Who does that, man? Anyway, um, psycho. See, that's the thing. Like, if you, I love giving out edibles. One of my favorite things. I like cooking them, like like sharing them with the world. But you absolutely need to tell somebody it's in there because otherwise, they're probably just it's a wasted edible. It's like they're not going to no. enjoy themselves. There's and a they, special I place in hell car. for people that do this well like that that trick people that yeah. there's a special place in health like the duff man at my bachelor party that guy oh, yeah. is a piece of shit Gave duff man like lace joint with yeah. pre-rolled joints that were at a minimum spice instead of weed and he didn't give anyone a heads up and he just it was like the discounted meat guy he's like i got discounted pre-rolls <laughs> and then everyone just lost their mind he doesn't even get to see what he is work either he's oh, just putting he's a monster like, yeah. yeah he just is a he's a you fucking chaos machine. This girl is probably similar. Like she, I don't know. I doubt she was hanging out. Do you think she was like, what, was she watching it, Pat? Like, was she there watching? Well, she was manning results? the canteen, so she must have been. It's. It sounds like it's an uh, she kept uh, handing. She kept handing the one guy waters. It's. It's a multiple. <laughs> so here's what I could tell. The base is like a multiple forces base. So I assume there's like quite a few folks there, but it's also like a little bit more of a remote area. So, I. I. I guess it was. She could probably see it. That's. That, that's kind of the vibe I get. You. Hmm. She probably could see what she did. Okay. Um, yeah. That so uh, sense, then. the exercise was suspended after they realized they were all high and they began to <laughs> search uh, for the wrappers, the cupcake wrappers, so they could be tested. But all the wrappers initially collected, uh, I think there was five or six in total. Only one survived. The others were lost, leading the defense attorney, Ian Casper, to argue that because the other wrappers weren't tested and only the single wrapper was tested, the, the single wrapper should be thrown out as evidence, saying, Why? quote, the loss of such important evidence was the result of incompetence. And to that, I say, yeah, Ian, your client got them very, very high. Of mm-hmm. course, they were incompetent and couldn't hold on to the wrappers, you dickhead. Right. So don't one test the one wrapper. Like, right. On. The one wrapper seems like plenty of evidence, actually. Like, right. Yep. She's it's more perfect amount. Yeah. She's charged with eight counts of administering a noxious substance to soldiers without their consent. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. By the way, the Duff Man was literally a Duff Man because it was Halloween. I was just trying to run that by. If, if you're confused, the guy in a Duff Man costume on Halloween sold us all. Oh, he sold you weird drugs. <laughs> Very strange, Mark. Yeah, yeah. And, he, no and, he said, and he said, and he said, I, I just like to have make people have a good time while he was like doing like the hands together thing. It was probably mm-hmm. in hindsight we shouldn't shouldn't have bought the cheap pre rolls. Why don't you smoke up and we'll tell you. <laughs> why are you why are you giving us such a good price? <laughs> He's Just like, take a hit up. first, then I'll tell you what's going yeah. on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I like to watch you smoke it. <laughs> you guys were a mess. Yeah. Oh, I lost my mind. I was yeah. I was in a I, We've gotten a shared Uber ride. Right well, one guy tackled the other guy and they broke his dislocated his shoulder. Uh, so then he had to go to the hospital high on spice with the guy who had a dislocated you shoulder. They're trying to get me to go. And I was like, no. And then I was in a shared Uber ride home and I was like, just not having it. And I was just like making like really, really aggressive, inappropriate comments about like, uh, like murdering people in the cab ride home. <laughs> <laughs> it was a wild time. For, for so yeah. long, I thought I had thrown up uh, an entire throw up of nothing but blood. 
when I, on that trip. But then I remembered later that I had actually pounded a giant red daiquiri, like uh. like a like a forty ounce like bright red daiquiri, like right before I went to sleep. Oh man, I would have loved to be in your brain when you thought you were puking blood high on spice. I would have just oh, I was I was in a mental rally. like I was in a like don't a mental, tell anyone nightmare. Yeah, yeah like yeah, the whole anyone. trip home. And then finally, like weeks later, I'm like, oh, shit, actually, it was a daiquiri. Nice. Dodge a bullet. All right, well, Wes, oh, take us home. Do we want to do another one? Yeah, okay. Let's let's do it. I uh, got an uh, interesting opportunity for us, guys. And Will, I don't know if you got the space helmet uh, handy, but if you if you want, you can, you can put on. it on. There we go. Uh, for this, uh, So I'm not sure uh, we could still do Hard Factor at the same time as this venture, and we would uh, surely kill each other within the first two months. But the content in those first two months would be just incredible if we decide to apply for this. Um, NASA began taking applications this past Friday for four people, one, two, three, four, wow. um, to live inside a uh, Mars Dune Alpha uh, apparatus, which they've constructed, which is 1,700 foot uh, Martian habitat created by a 3D printer inside a building at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Okay. okay. So 1,700 square feet, so it's mm -hmm. how many bathrooms? Tiny. Small, it's probably bathroom. one bathroom. Small. Yeah, I don't okay. think they're going to put more one, than one bathroom, bathroom, huh? Yeah, I don't think they're going to put give us more for, than one for the four of us. Yeah, so here's what it looks like right okay. now. Uh, that's kind of like the, um, uh, the the beginning stages spacious, of it. Spacious, yeah, really. that's that's like a this is like an artist drawing anyway. Seventeen hundred square feet is the perfect size for four human beings. Yeah. So according to the IP, uh, the, the volunteers will be paid. They will work in a simulated uh, Martian exploration mission complete with spacewalks, limited communication back home, hmm. restricted, food and re restricted food and resources, uh -oh. and equipment failures, which I'm sure we would all just handle very smoothly, four of us working together. Well, are we um, allowed to post social media videos? I'm not sure about that. I'm Can you sure leave at any point? That's well. This is the question mark. Google I don't podcast. It, you're supposed to be in there for a is full year. Dome where you're locked in, or biodome. I don't think they they can technically keep you a prisoner there. Um, I don't know. It's like a mental, like a loony bin. But uh, anyway, um, this probably isn't for us. Uh, there's 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 no windows um, or in the shelter, and as of now, it's only ready to eat space food and a few plants. Um, is what the volunteers will eat. So three uh, people are going to get murdered. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to burst your bubbles immediately. Well, you can probably take the space helmet off. Um, according to the article, the requirements are pretty strict, um, including a master's degree in science, which we don't oh, have, um, engineering or math field, pilot experience, and also not us. Um, only American citizens or permanent U.S. residents are eligible. We got one of those. We're, we're good. We're coming back. Applicants may uh, have to be between 30 and 55. Check mark. Okay, maybe you can put it back. You got it, you got it on. Still okay. Uh, may, um, and then... Um, Hang on. Uh, applicants must also be in very good physical health. With OK, no well, we could issues. start working on it. That one mm -hmm. we can get to. Mm -hmm. um, I think I still like our. You know what they need to do? We need to pitch them on doing two of these and do one with the, the smart scientists who are in good shape mm -hmm. and then do another one with regular people because when you go the to underdogs that were right, pretty underdogs, the, the underdog crew, mm -hmm. because when you go to Mars, you're going to need like miners and whatnot. They're not all going to be like winners, you know, when they go. Right. We could be the non winner test group. Do you guys well, need do you guys need four podcasters? Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. You're going to need guys in the brig. I think there's going to be a brig up there. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's where guys like us would yeah, hang out. Right? The, the chefs, uh, like the cooks, line cooks, like the how much are they on cigarettes and alcohol did, in, uh, in Mars. Did they see <laughs> Alien or Alien 2? <laughs> how much money are they offering? Wes's sobriety. I know, didn't say. Is, Wes's sobriety not is going to be on notice. So, oh, this, is a, on this, notice. Is <laughs> this is a this is a social test. This is a social test to see if four human beings can can survive this. Essentially, yeah. Right? So the lead scientist, this girl Grace Douglas, said we're looking in. Uh, we are looking at Mars realistic situations. We want to understand how humans perform in them. So basically, just this it's isolation gonna be a blood kind bath. of. It's going to be a bloodbath. Exactly. It's going to be a fucking bloodbath. Um, the article continues to really sh slam the door shut on us um, from Canadian, a quote from Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield. Um, apparently, he spent five months in orbit at the International Space Station and said, quote, okay. the applicant should be, quote, super competent, resourceful and not relying on other people to feel comfortable. So, you know, that's that's oh. tough. It's tough for us. Um, he's just rubbing in our faces now. But our pod would function differently. This guy doesn't understand the type of expertise we're bringing. 
Right. But see, the problem is, as they also noted in the article, is that Russia has tried to do this by using like normal um, people and they just quit. They just can't handle it. So they want like astronaut, almost like they want like astronaut C listers. No one can handle this for a year. No one can handle this. It's going to turn, it's going to turn ugly. Right. I mean, I'm taking the space helmet off for now. Okay. But I might put it back on eventually. Knowing that you can leave at any point. Like if you were actually on Mars and you know you can't leave, it's different. But knowing that like McDonald's is just like a few doors away, um, if you just say, you know what, I'm done, I'm out, this sucks. Then How long could you last? I think I could last four days. Oh, I could last longer than four days. You think I so? Could do six months. You could do six months in that thing. There's Easy. no way. There's no way you I think could I could do go, six months. I, think I'd be, I'd do three Easy. months. I'd chew it. Three months is a lot. I know how to do time, Mark. One month. <laughs> I don't know, man. Six mm. months is a State long mind, time. Mark. Pat, I've lived with you. You can't do six months with three strangers. State of mind. <laughs> 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 Who are you talking to? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd give myself a month. That's about yeah. It. Month is the max. Yeah. Um. Anyway, that's gonna do it for hard factor application process ends September seventh. In case you want to, you know, try I'm to. Sure, try to I'm sure it's just like that job to do the uh, the taco job for a hundred thousand dollars a year, where you just eat tacos. I'm sure they're getting tons of applications for this thing. Yeah, I actually tried the application process. You can't see it. I got I got like signed up for it, and one of the first questions is is like, do you have a master's degree or in science? And like they they would get pretty quick, <laughs> unless you lie. You could yeah. get you'll probably get past it, but anyway. I have a feeling they're gonna have to start lowering the bar. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, or pay you a lot of money. We'll see. I think um, that they should give us a shot at our own at our own building, our own facility. It'd be great Agreed. content for sure. I'd be do. I'd be, I'd lock it six six for months a week. at least. <laughs> <laughs> We'd kill each other. Um, all right, that's gonna do for Hard Factor. Thank you for joining us for yet the start of another amazing week. Uh, new shirt drops today. Check it out. Cheat on the news with Hard Factor. She's a very sexy lady telling you to cheat on the news. Um, so if you know, if you don't want to join the Patreon, if you don't want to commit to that, we get it. If you're missing out on a shit ton of great content over there, uh, a lot of extra content. New but, you know, with Wes, Stat yeah. Nelson video, mm-hmm. also Hard Factor Detectors coming yeah. out uh, this week. I mean, so. amazing time to join the Patreon, but we get it. It's a, it's kind of a commitment. But if you if you do want to support us, buy a T-shirt, buy this T-shirt, and help spread the word. It's got our logo on it. It's got our slogan on it. It's a very very nice T-shirt for Hard Factor. So check it out. Hardfactor.com. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, but most importantly, have a great fucking day. Hardfactor.com. Patreon.com slash Hardfactor.